Hi, first grade. Today we are going to be learning a strategy to solve subtraction problems, and it is called subtraction 10 partners. But before we learn that strategy, we need to make sure we understand fact families. Let's look at this problem. Seven plus three. I have seven red counters and three yellow counters. And I know that by looking at this representation, that seven plus three equals 10. For fact families, it's always going to be the same three numbers that I'm using. I'm just rearranging my two numbers that I was given to equal the same number. So instead of seven plus three equals 10, I'm gonna switch it and do three plus seven. So this time, three plus seven, I still see that it equals 10. I just switched my numbers. The cool thing is we can use fact families for addition, but we can also use them in subtraction too. Watch this. I'm going to start with my big number and I'm going to take away one of these one digit numbers. I'm going to do seven first. If I have 10 and I'm taking away seven, I'm left with three. See how I use the same three numbers? Wow, okay, let's try one more time. But this time, I'm gonna start with 10, my biggest number again, because I'm subtracting, but instead of taking away seven, I'm gonna take away three this time. I have 10 and I'm gonna take away three. How many am I left over with? I have seven left over. Today, we're gonna learn the strategy subtraction 10 partners we are going to learn that there are numbers that are 10 partners, which means that they add together and equal 10. Three and seven is one example of 10 partners. When you add three and seven together, you get 10. Knowing our 10 partners is going to help us solve subtraction problems. And we can use fact families to help us too. Let's look at this example right here. I have 10 minus two. We're gonna use the subtraction 10 partner strategy to solve this. I have 10 and I'm gonna take away two. How many are left? Oops, eight. Well, I know that two and eight are tens partners, so I could have done it that way too. Let's switch it and rearrange our numbers to do it in a different way. If I had 10 minus eight, I know that two and eight are tens partners, so I automatically know that 10 minus eight is two. Let's look at our fact family for these numbers. I know that four plus six equals 10 because six and four are tens partners. But I can also switch these two numbers and instead do 6 plus 4 and I still get 10. Now let's do it with subtraction. I start with 10 and I'm going to choose one of the one digit numbers to subtract. I chose 6. When I subtract 10 from 6 plus 10, I get 4. Now let's switch them. 10 minus four equals six. We used our subtraction 10 partners to solve these problems. Let's look at a different example. We're gonna look at it in a different way. I know that if three plus seven equals 10, that I can use my subtraction 10 partners starting with 10 and taking one digit number away from it. 10 minus three equals seven. When I switch my 10 partners, 10 minus seven will equal three. Here's another example. I know that nine plus one equals 10 because nine and one are tens partners. So I can use my subtraction 10 partner strategy to start with 10, 
any subtraction problem that starts with 10 and you take away a one digit number, it will equal its 10 partner. 10 minus nine, I know that one is nine's tens partner, so the answer is one. Now I'm gonna flip my one digit numbers. Instead of subtracting nine, this time I'm subtracting one, and it equals nine. Let's look at this one. I know three plus seven equals 10. So I'm gonna use my subtraction 10 partners. I know that these are my partners right here. 10 minus three is gonna equal seven. And 10 minus seven is going to equal three. Let's look at another one. 10 plus zero equals 10. I know that my two tens partners are 10 and zero. They equal 10 when you add them together. So using my subtraction 10 partners, 10 minus 10 is going to equal what? zero because these are my partners now let's switch it 10 minus zero equals what 10. great job i have one more example for you guys i want you to do this on your own pause the video and come up with the two differences using the subtraction 10 partner strategy. Push play when you're ready. Okay, I know that five plus five equals 10. These are my two tens partners. So I'm gonna use my subtraction 10 partner strategy. 10 minus five equals what? What did you guys think? equals five. Last one, I'm switching them. 10 minus five, my other tens partner equals what? Five, they're both five. So today we learned the strategy subtraction 10 partners. Anytime you have 10 and you're subtracting a one digit number from it, it's always going to equal you are tens partners. Five and five are tens partners, so anytime I'm subtracting five from 10, it's always going to equal five. Have fun practicing.